the hut. Okay, now uh, this is usually? what they call the domestic coil. Uh, what you do is you run your drinking water, domestic water, uh, through this. Uh, one will be, uh, you just go in and there's a coil inside the uh, jacket with fins on it. It's a heat transfer unit. And you're going to transfer the 140 to 180 degree water temperature in your boiler over into your domestic hot water. So, okay, Mike, go ahead and uh, show what you're going to do here. Half inch fitting. Put into your half inch adapter here. Of course, you put Teflon on here. This is just a mock-up, so... Coming in with your cold side, coming back out with your hot side. What we like to do here at the factory, whenever we do new installs, we recommend that you put these uh, T's in. This is in case you ever have a block coil or your coil becomes uh, sludged up or you get dirt in. You could put a boiler drain in here. You could flush this coil without needing to cut your pipe and creating a whole mess. All you do, you'd plug this, of course. We put two half inch plugs in here. If you ever need to flush your coil, you remove these plugs, put two boiler drains in here. You could put your solution in, flush your coil. Voila, you're done. No need to cut pipes, have water all over. No need for any plumbing. It makes things very simple in order if you ever come upon the issue of not enough hot water or a block coil, it's so easy. Pull the plugs, you put two drains in here, and you're done. And of course, you would Teflon these when you would put them back in. This would be your hot side coming up. This would be your cold side coming down. A lot of people, they pick up this here for your boiler feed, and they uh, tee it off, and they bring it into the, the cold water supply, and uh, you'd come out of here with your hot water supply. You might want to check your local codes or municipality enforcement to make sure you don't need to have a mixing valve installed on your coil. The mixing valve is not in, uh, is not packaged with the unit. It is, it is not shipped with the Keystoker unit. But before you go putting this in, you better uh, be on the safe side and make sure your local uh, code enforcement does not require a uh, mixing valve such as this. What this mixing valve does, it, it helps control the temperature which will come out of your faucet. It's more or less like an anti-scold device. You set this up at 120, 125 degrees, and it won't allow the temperature of the water to exceed 120, 125 degrees. This is not shipped with the Keystoker unit. And the way it works is you have your domestic cold water coming in, and then you have your hot water coming in from the boiler, yes. and it mixes the two together to maintain the temperature. The temperature, that is correct, yes. To, to avoid scalding, because keep in mind, the minimum temperature on this boiler is typically 140 degrees. Right. That's much higher than what your hot water tank temperature is usually set at. It's usually set at 110, or even a little less. So, uh, so you, uh, my thoughts is, you need a mixing valve to prevent any kind of a problem with uh, somebody getting scalded.